good. Well, it's not um, five days after, it's about a week after. And it looks like there's a Uniqlo that's gonna open here. That's nice. Um, Dachin Hotel. It's all cleaned up. Uh, you never want to come to a mall on opening day. It's always going to be a madhouse. So you come a couple days later and it starts to die down a little bit. You can actually walk through it. But uh, let's go check it out. Let's see uh, how they did. They've been building this for oh, the past two years that I've been here. So I'm interested to see how it came out. Yeah, let's go to the Xiaomi store. All the Chinese uh, brands are trying to imitate Apple. Michael Kors? I'm not even sure what that is. It's all cleaned up. I like to go all the way to the top and work my way down. The mall is seven stories. Seven stories of mall. And it's not a big mall. It's more tall than it is large. Um, but like all malls in China, they kind of follow the same pattern. Um, the first two floors are, you know, fashion. The third floor is mostly for children and specialty shops. Fourth and fifth floors are restaurants and movie theaters. And then above that, who knows? So we're gonna go check it out. Studio of the Arts. That's interesting. So I'm on the fifth floor now. You can see, even for a brand new, there's still some construction dirt left over, but they're still working on cleaning up. This is gonna be the new movie theater that hasn't opened yet, but it will open soon, it looks like. You have a... Las Vegas cuisine. That's interesting. I'm curious what that is. It looks like it's mostly just desserts, salads. Like uh, most malls, unless you're in a tier one city in China, everything will be in Chinese and there'll be a couple of Western restaurants with an English menu. But for the most part, as you can see, um, everything is in Chinese and you really have to try hard to figure out what's on the menus. There's actually three floors of, of restaurants. Uh, a couple of them are chain restaurants that I recognize uh, that are really good. I'm actually <laughs> kind of excited about it. And then there's also a, a brand new gym. They call it King Fitness Elite. Uh, it looks like a nightclub more than a fitness center. Uh, it's too bad this is on the north side of town, so it's inconvenient for me. I actually kind of like my current gym, and I bought a, a year membership there, so... But I'm told that there's a ice skating rink up here somewhere. This is the roof. Um, not a bad little sitting area. You can see a little bit of Zhongshan and that's the hotel. It looks like it's still under construction there. These are office buildings. Let's take a look at the view. It's kind of blocked by these trees, unfortunately. That down there, that's the old mall. Um, that was still a very popular mall, and then they added the one I'm currently at. It's the same company, it's almost like an expansion. But with this one opening up, that one is going to die. Uh, that's my opinion. But this is the north side of Zhongshan. It's interesting, it's a fencing club. That's the first I've seen of that. It is an ice skating rink, but it's pretty small, to be honest with you. It doesn't look very big at all. It's more like for fun. Oh! It smells insanely good in here, but uh, there's every kind of restaurant you can think of, every type of cuisine from all over China, but also all kinds of Western um, restaurants too. Pepper lunch. I mean, the, the, the choices are endless for such a small mall. It's, Half of it is restaurants, it seems. I don't think the McDonald's is open yet. Oh, no, it is open. Can't have a mall without a McDonald's. This is an interesting escalator. It completely bypasses one of the floors. Looks like the fourth floor it bypasses, which is odd to me. I don't know why they would do that. Um, furniture. Clothing. All the way down to the children's. Now, Taste is a kind of a, a posh, higher-end supermarket. Um, not a big one, but one with a lot of wine and international brands and stuff. 
It kind of reminds me of a, you know, one of those high-end Newport Beach ones you see back home, but uh, Chinese. H&M, which is extremely popular in China. So is Uniqlo, which is the Japanese version of H&M. In my opinion, better too. Oh, this flower shop. They're still trying to figure out mall design. I mean, the, this is the main corridor in the second floor, and then they have this little offshoot over here with a Hot Wind and a Mini Soul, which are very common brands, but there's no foot traffic. So those businesses are going to go out of business very quickly uh no not a bad mall it's actually kind of nice it's not high end it's mid-range but it's you know nice i mean it's a good addition to the city got a couple of good looking restaurants i'm gonna have to go try and um a couple of new stores that are still looking to be opened and they're cleaning up the mess a little bit so you can tell they they threw it together at the last minute but it's open and and thriving on the north side of Zhongshan. One clever necessity that they did is they connected the new mall with the old mall with this footbridge. It's still being built, but when it's all done, they're gonna need it to keep this older mall uh, still relevant. Because this, this mall is actually really big with a huge department store and there's almost never anybody in it as it is now. In comparison, this is the older mall as you can see, it's much, much larger, but now with the new mall open, this place is going to start to die. 